In this tutorial, I will be explaining you how to set up Stripe and how to collect payments using Stripe and also how to integrate Stripe as a payment gateway platform with other tools that you may be using like Thrivecart, WooCommerce or any other platforms. Coming up. Hey guys, this is Akshay and in this channel, we discuss about various SaaS applications, review them and also publish high quality tutorials. If you are interested, make sure to subscribe. Stripe is the most popular payment gateway solutions out there. With Stripe, you can collect payments from your customers, sell your products and whatnot. Along with that, you can also integrate Stripe with other SaaS platforms that you may be using. Like I make use of Thrivecart and WooCommerce with Cardflows and integrate these two platforms with Stripe to collect the online payments for my course. When it comes to pricing, Stripe's pricing is pretty straightforward than that of PayPal. So it charges you 2.9% uh, for every successful card charge along with 30 cents. And this is plain and straightforward. To begin with Stripe, first you need to head over to the register page. Here you need to enter your email, full name, the country of residence, the password, and just create an account. And afterwards you will be sent an confirmation email. You just need to confirm your email address and just sign in to Stripe dashboard. For this tutorial sake, I'm making use of my test account because if I use a live account, it contains a lot of credentials and also private customer information. So first, once you set up your account, you just need to head over to settings and go to business details. Here, you just need to enter in all these details, say business structure. Suppose if you have registered business address in United States, just need to select the country as United States and enter in the address and also the state and the zip code and the type of business, individual, company or non-profit organization. And next one, business representative. Here you just need to enter in your email address, date of birth and the home address, right? And also your social security number, right? So, and you have business details. So whatever industry that your business is working in, like software and the business website, and you have fulfillment details. So you will be uh, shipping or fulfilling the goods or services to the customers, typically within one day of them completing a payment. And support details, here, this is the statement descriptor, right? How many times there will be some suspense entries in your bank statement, and you will be scratching your head and Googling repeatedly to figure out uh, where the charge has uh, come from right so in that case if you don't want your customers to face a similar situation you, you can have a statement descriptor and whenever your customers are built by you their bank statement will mention this term bloggingx.com so that they can easily figure out that they made payment to bloggingx a business right so and customer support phone number and also support address and here comes the bank details uh, this is the bank to which you will be receiving the payments that your customers will be making right so here i can just programmatically connect with my uh, bank account say i have an account in chase bank well i will be uh, logging into my bank account and i will be completing the authentication process if you're not seeing your bank supported here, you can enter in your bank details manually by entering the routing number, account number, and confirming the account number. Routing number will be pro provided by your bank. So the next one would be two-step authentication. So as Stripe is a payment gateway, the security is very important. You can enable SMS-based OTP verification, or else you can use an authenticator app like Google Authenticator or any other authenticator apps that you're using. When you turn on two-step authentication, it will again provide you a recovery code uh, that will you will use to regain access back to your account in case if you lose your mobile phone or your SIM. And also uh, tax calculation. Here, automate sales tax calculation. So the product category is software as a service. Say I'm selling some SaaS application and just I can continue. And once all is done, uh, it will be reviewing all the details that I have filled. Unfortunately, I have not completed this entire business setup mechanism. And once this is done, you need to submit for verification. And within uh, two to three days, your account will get verified. And bank accounts, alternatively, you can head over to bank account section. And here you can add a bank account as well. And also payout schedule. 
right? Payout schedule automatically every day. So if a person makes a payment today morning and I will receive that payment to my bank account within today or else monthly right on the first right or else manual uh, so that you need to log into stripe and request payout right you can select any of this so generally you will be uh, setting this as automatically every day go back to settings and here you have tax details here you can select the type of your business sole proprietor or whatever and here you just need to enter in your full name as per the documents and also tax identification number so let me go back and here under branding, I need to select the branding elements, right? So blogging X, say uh, if I want to select this icon as some paper flight, I can select this and also the logo and also brand color, accent color. Yeah, it's quite matching, but anyhow, I can just tweak these settings. And also you can see checkout payment links will be uh, displayed like this with the branding colors and customer portal will be like this hosted invoices will be like this and invoice PDF will be like this. So let me save the changes. Once the changes are saved, uh, I can head over to emails. So email customers about uh, successful payments, refunds, well, good uh, user experience strategies here and also uh, debit emails and email domain would be stripe.com or else I can add in my own domain and set up CNAME records so that uh, the emails will be sent from my domain versus Stripe. Let me go back to settings and here if I want my team members to access my Stripe account with uh, limited privileges or permissions. So unless you want your team member to have administrator access, you may need to uh, provide like view only or analyst roles for your team members if they are doing accounting. So here, first you need to uh, select the payment methods that you want your customers to use when checking out for your product. For example, I have enabled cards, all the cards supported globally, and also Apple Pay, Google Pay, Alipay, WeChat, Play for, Pay for Chinese people. So I can preview this. So this is how the checkout would look like. So this is a classic checkout page that supports uh, all the important cards here let me go back and here under billing i can go to subscriptions and emails now customer email send an email seven days before the free trial ends so that is actually a good practice and also a business information cancellation policy link and statement descriptor suppose if you have a SaaS product that is offering seven day free trial right and after the seven days uh, the their credit card on file will automatically get charged so that would be a suspense charge for many people and your support inbox will be flooded by uh, their emails. In that case, uh, in their bank account statement, you can make it clear uh, adding a trial over message so that they can easily figure out their trial is over, hence they are being charged. This simple toggle will drastically minimize the number of support requests that your billing team may get. It's pretty good. And send emails about upcoming renewals so that they will be not uh, stuck by surprise. And let me go to settings and here you have invoice template invoice numbering sequence default memo default footer default payment terms and also manage tax information say if you want to include some id like gst id in case of canada or india new zealand singapore so you can just enter in your gst id here so that your gst number will be automatically included in the invoice that you send out to your customers so once this template is done uh, well all the changes you make here will be reflected when you are creating a new invoice that i will be showing you guys shortly and let me head back to settings and here you have quote template suppose if you are sending an estimate or a quote for your prospects then you can make use of this template and customer portal this will be the portal that users will be visiting in case if they want to make any changes to their address their name or their payment methods so here in the payment portal for the customers I have enabled invoice history so that they can look at the history of their payments and the billing information. They can change their email address, billing address, shipping address, their tax ID if they want and the payment methods that they can change and also allow customers to cancel subscription so that they don't end up again and again emailing us for cancellation, right? And post subscriptions and much more. So I can save this, right? And also I can preview how uh, the end 
customer will be viewing this. You can see I have enabled a lot of options here. They can add a new payment uh, method. They can cancel their plan uh, that I recently added. Now let me explain you on how you can select payments on Stripe. So first things first, under payments, right? So by default, when your account is fresh, the payments will be empty. So in case if you are making use of Thrivecart, WooCommerce or uh, Kajabi or Teachable, then like programmatically all the payments will be handled by Teachable and the payments will be displayed here if the customer checks out uh, via Stripe. But you can create manual payments as well for the customers who are already existent in your system. So you can create a new payment. And here, suppose I, I can enter this as say $1,000. And here I can select a customer. So I have one John Dew dummy customer in my database. I can add a description like test payment and statement descriptor is bloggingx.com that I've specified under settings. And I can manually enter the card information if I have the card of this customer or else if that customer already has their card on file with my Stripe account, I can use a customer's on file payment method. But as of now, as this is a dummy account, um, this customer John Dew doesn't have any saved payment methods. And email your customer a hosted invoice with Stripe billing. So I can create a new invoice and automatically send that invoice to this customer. So or else I can manually enter the information and submit payment. But in most of the cases, you will not be capturing the payment manually, right? So you will be sending your customers a link or an invoice wherein they can complete the payment and Stripe will automatically capture that payment as succeeded, refunded, uncaptured or failed, right? Now, when you are sending an invoice or a payment link, to your customer first you need to create a product so i have already created a product called blogging x automation system right suppose if you want to add a new product you can just go in here add in the product name the product description the image and also the pricing model so you have standard pricing package pricing graduated pricing volume pricing so graduated pricing really helps a lot for uh, scarcity marketing, like the pricing will increase after a certain quantity, stuff like that. And you have volume pro pricing, especially for physical products, or you have package pricing. So most of the times you may be going with standard pricing and here you can just enter in the price and select if it is recurring or one time. And if it's recurring, whether it be monthly, every three months, yearly or stuff like that. So let me select this as one time and there are other additional options like price description. So I can add in more pricing uh, options here if I want. So. Well, let me uh, delete this for now and let me save. Now I have this product set up. Well, here I go. Now, if I want to send a link to my uh, prospect for him to uh, complete the checkout process, I can just create a payment link for this product and send them a payment link. Or else I can just head over to payments, go to payment links and create new. And here I need to just select this product that I recently created and also I can allow or disallow uh, promotional codes, collect customers addresses, require customers to provide a phone number and stuff like that, right? So I will be explaining about promotional codes shortly, right? And next create link. Now I can just send this particular link that is a test link because it's now in test mode as I don't have my account activated. This is a dummy account. Whenever people do a checkout with this particular checkout link, uh, they will be purchasing this product and the product fulfillment need to be handled by a custom API integration. If you are making use of Zapier or Integromat that is now make, then you have various triggers and also various actions. So you can set something like if a person completes a payment of a specific product, assign them to a particular membership level in Podia or stuff like that. But in most of the cases, if you're making use of popular SaaS applications like Podia, Teachable, they already support Stripe as a payment gateway solution. So you will not be making use of payment links solution that I will be explaining. And one more thing. So I have created a product here, right? So let me go to blogging X and here under coupons, I can create coupons code, create a test coupon. And here I just need to enter the coupon name first purchase discount. Right? So I can set a percentage discount or a fixed amount discount and duration forever. And also I can select the toggle apply to specific products, say blogging X pro so that 
I can just mention in Blogging Secrets Pro first purchase discount and also redemption limits limit the date range when customers can redeem this coupon if you want to enable like Black Friday discount and all you can just have this expiry date and also codes so if you want to offer the coupon codes like Black Friday special or stuff like that then you can make use of this option as well and you have shipping rates and also tax rates that you can add you can add uh, multiple tax rates for various regions now about the customer so i have created one customer here right so i can add in a new customer manually which i won't suggest you because you need to have a checkout form integrated with stripe so that customer data will be automatically picked up by stripe so you have various fields that you can fill here for the customers now what if you are a freelancer who needs to send invoices manually to your client for every purchase so you can add a new product like you know say graphic design at $50 so save the product and now under payments go to invoices and here create an invoice and here suppose John Doe is your customer so you can just select him or her and just find the item that is graphic design and suppose he has ordered a five graphic design for his blog then you can enter in the price say $250 and save this and here you can add in the price as 50 and the quantity as 5 right and save this so 5 graphic design work for his blog right and here you can alter the settings and you can see uh, the preview of this invoice is already here and also this is the PDF and I can review this invoice once and also send this invoice to John Doe. So it will be sending the invoice to the email address that John Doe has in file. And now once he makes this payment, well, that payment will be automatically recorded under payments here as payment done. Unless you are a freelancer offering services for each individual client and you need to manually send them the invoices. Most of the times, if you are like a course creator or a digital product seller, you will be integrating Stripe with your product. So in case if you have a SaaS application, you need to be a developer to integrate Stripe with your product through its API. What is if you are making use of any shopping cart softwares like Thrivecart, Thrivecart comes with Stripe integration. You just need to head over to integrations, just log into your Stripe account and grant Thrivecart to access your Stripe account. And it's all easy and you'll be good to go. And on the other hand, if you are making use of WooCommerce on WordPress, you just need to enable Stripe, go to manage. And in here, under Stripe settings, you just need to edit the account keys and enter in the test and live keys that you get from your API keys page on Stripe. And you just need to copy over the publishable and also the secret key to your WooCommerce settings page on WordPress. And now, once this is done, your authentication will be done. And as an additional step, you need to enter in the WooCommerce endpoint in your Stripe account so that the Stripe events will be successfully captured by your WooCommerce site. Once this payment integration is done with Thrivecart, WooCommerce or whatever software that you're using, whenever people make any payment, the payments will be automatically captured by Stripe as you can see, but invoices will not be created because in my case, the invoices will be handled by Thrivecart or WooCommerce that I'm making use. So you just don't need to deal with manually sending out the invoices, payment links. If you have a shopping cart platform integrated with Stripe programmatically set in place. And as I told you earlier, it's hard to see any popular, you know, LMS software or shopping cart softwares, WooCommerce, e-commerce softwares not supporting Stripe natively. If you encounter any software that's not supporting Stripe, but anyhow, you can make use of Stripe as a front-end payment capture solution and then make use of Zapier or Integromat to do the automations like the trigger when the payment is done, do something like say assign a particular course in any custom LMS. Hope you liked this video. If you have any doubts, let me know in the comment section below. And if you have liked this, just like, don't forget to subscribe and I'm out.